Welcome to another interview presented by Alabama Wrestling Forums. I'm Jackson Bass here with Coach Charlie Treadaway from Jackson Hall High School. How are you doing today, Coach? I'm wonderful, man. I'm uh, just uh, enjoying the, the weather. It's uh, turned cold here all of a sudden, so I'm at the park with my little girl. I got had to cover my ears. They're getting a little cold. I'll tell you, the weather up here, because I'm in Bluefield, Virginia, we're, we're having snow in April, so it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty wild. <laughs> So let me start off by asking you, what got you into wrestling? Uh, I had an older brother that uh, wrestled. Uh, he was uh, f- three years older than me, four years older than me. Uh, he got into wrestling, and uh, I started going. When I got out of school in the fourth grade or fifth grade, um, I started going when my dad to pick him up for practice and, you know, started wrestling around with the guys. Um, this would have been in the early 90s, so club wrestling and all that was – not a thing so um yeah just being around it with my older brother really got me into it awesome so you went to Fulton Dell High School between the years 1996 and, and 99 and your coach was Billy Hughes and and every I don't know if statistically you knew this but every single year you didn't have any less than six placers so oh wow so yeah what was going on in that room to make that group of guys so successful every year? Um, it's, you know, Billy was my coach. And then before Billy was uh, Charlie Bruce, um, like we talked to, talked about before. And um, Billy kind of really adapted the, the thought philosophy Charlie Bruce had was um, – it's all about the little things. So you can do all the big things, but if you're not, um, it's almost like perfecting things, you know, instead of your foot being here, your foot needs to be here, your head's here instead of here. Um, the little things that really make a good wrestler, um, that was their, their, their philosophy pretty much, you know, they could teach you the big things and then we work from there on perfecting those little things. Um, and that's how I coach now. It's it's all about the little things. I, I constantly am saying that. So I'm going to move. I'm by the playground equipment here. It's one of the things that really um, I think they pressed us on, and that's why you had, you know, such a great run right there. So you talked about how you coach. What got you into coaching? Um, Being around guys like Billy Hughes, um, you know, you, you – they're not only coaches, they're, they're mentors, they're father figures. And, and, and you being around that and, and living around that, um, I've always, you know, even after I graduate high school, I'd go back and help Billy and wrestle with the guys in the room. And, and, and just being around that made me think, you know, uh, this opportunity at Jackson Olin came open and uh, I jumped on it. Um, that was really the main the main thing. So you mentioned Jackson Olin. Why did Jackson Olin want to start a program? So uh, the athletic director there, head head, head football coach, uh, Tim Vacakis, uh, he wrestled in high school at Homewood here in Homewood. And if you look back at Homewood High School, their run they had in the 90s with football, but they also had a run in wrestling. And a lot of that translates so him being the head football coach he's always wanted a wrestling program um and then um so this year just the things fell in place for it to happen so um wrestling as we all know is uh translates well into football so So what got you into coaching at jackson Olin specifically um just the opportunity to really go in um you know, Tim was looking for a wrestling coach, a um, guy by the name of Jeffrey Boston. He kind of put it out there saying, hey, this this uh, Birmingham Inner City School is looking for a wrestling coach. And um, I just felt that it, it was a great fit. Um, just being able to come in and start from scratch. You know, you're not coming in after someone's been there and, and, and left. And um, you're coming in and you're getting your guys. And that was really you know, one of the things that I really liked. What were some of the major learning curves of having a new program this year? Um, It's funny. Our first wrestling match of the year, 
um, the guys prior to that had never, ever seen a wrestling match. Never. So we go to a duel. It's our first duel of the year. And we kind of, before we went, we kind of showed them how a match is going to go. Okay, this is the first period, second period, third period. This is how things are going to go. Well, um, we show up and we, I said, can we go last? Can we wrestle after you guys wrestle? And they were like, sure. So they, we watched the very first match. Well, the guy ends up getting pinned in like the first period. And the guys are like, well, now what happens? And I'm like, it's over. I'm like, so, so just teaching them um, how, how a wrestling match is actually wrestled. And then um, most of the time, by the time you get to high school, because most of my guys were sophomores. So by the time you get to high school, you've, you, you have, you're no longer locking hands. You're no longer doing things full Nelsons. You're not doing those things. So that was one of the major things we dealt with was these kids never wrestled and never seen it. And um, they're sophomores in high school. So usually by the time they get there, they know these things. So we were early in the year, we were, I mean, we were locking hands, locking hands, you know, full Nelsons, things like that. But that was one of the major hurdles is just, teaching them that so, so you, you obviously got got past that kind of stuff because i remember I, I was helping john carroll during christmas break i saw there was a crowd of kids appearing and it, yeah, it was great environment but i could tell that some of your wrestlers were kind of getting too much into the crowd and obviously you guys got past that because you had multiple state qualifiers what was kind of the biggest thing changing from it's not a show, it's a match. Yeah, it, and that's that was one of the other things. We uh they they really you're right. They're they're um you know, early on they were like, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna, you know, do this, I'm gonna throw this guy all over and then they find out real quick that it's a little different than they think. Um as we all know, wrestling's very humbling sport. Um you could be the greatest athlete. But if you, you can step on a mat with a guy and you're looking at the guy across the gym and you're like, oh, I'm going to wear this guy out. And then you go out there and it's over in 30 seconds and you're staring at the ceiling, you know, staring at the, the lights in the gym. You're like, what just happened, coach? And I'm like, you know, you got to go out there. It's like I said, it's not all about the show. It's uh, you, you got to be able to, to, to wrestle and produce. So. How do you think being part of, you know, obviously 5-6-A is arguably the hardest classification since the Alabama wrestling scene. What was the benefit of having your program start in the year that 5-6-A began? Um, you know, I've always said that, that um, so I was a 1-4-A through 4A guy. So when I came up, it was 1-4-A. through 4A. And then 5A and 6A were by themselves. So 5A wrestled, then 6A wrestled. Okay. <laughs> My little girl's wanting to go home. Um, but, yeah, I think, um, you know, that's a, it, at State we were talking there. There was no easy weight classes, you know. Um, some years you can tell, like, that weight class is a little down this year. They're, you know, all the way through, um, all the weight classes were tough this year. Um, but yeah, we, we, uh, we fought through, um, like I said, we had three state qualifiers, one kid finished seventh, um, uh, which was great. Um, so hopefully next year we can get a full room. You know, we, 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 we're looking to, to build the program, fill all the weight classes. Um, you know, that's, that's our goal for next year is, uh, you know, qualify more for state and then, uh, look to, look to step up on the podium. You mentioned that you had a state placer this year. What does it mean to have a state placer in the first year of your program? I think it's huge. Um, it shows the kids. Um, it showed kid. It showed kids that. So so while we were at state, um, the back in Jackson Owen, back in Birmingham, uh, Pacacus the, uh, put up. Um, the matches, the guys, when they wrestled, he played it in the video room. So a lot of guys that didn't wrestle were able to see, um, man, this is fun. This could be fun. This is legit. And, you know, watching a guy like Eric Muse, which is an athletic beast, uh, go through and play seventh um, was huge, uh, especially for our first year. You know, um, yeah, it's a seventh place finish. But, I mean, you look, 
you know, like you said, it's the first year of 5A and 6A, and there there's some great 5A schools. I mean, not you know, there's no knock to 5A. 5A and 6A, they can compete with anybody in the state. Um, you know, you you um, so having a seventh place finisher pretty much out of I think there was 51 teams that had a wrestling program five through 6A, and have a guy play seventh is it's great for the program and it shows um, that we can do this. So, you know, the 2021 season was a very weird season. How did COVID affect your team specifically? You know, we were very fortunate. We, uh, we, we didn't have any – we had um, a lot of – we didn't have any cases. We didn't have any one quarantine. We actually um, – I mean, we – I think we had one kid quarantine, but that was not even like – he tested negative all the way through. Um, so I, it, 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 for us, so Birmingham inner cities were virtual only. They weren't in school. They were virtual. So one of the biggest issues we had was getting kids to practice, um, getting kids to getting them there. You know, that was one of the main things because there's no buses bringing the kids to school. Um, so you're, you're, you're constantly, we were constantly, you know, checking in, Hey, you got a ride. You're going to be able to make it, you know, practices at this time, you know, do we need to move it? So we were, we were pretty flexible on practice time and things like that. But like I said, one of the main issues was just getting guys in the room consistently. So. Definitely. So what looks bright in the future of Jackson Allen wrestling? What looks bright? Um, I'm excited for next year. I think um, we've built um, some – some uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're growing. We're, we're going to grow next year. That's going to be exciting. Um, and, and we've had – we have the backing of the administration. You know, we have uh, Dr. Williams, our principal. She, we had a dual meet at our school this year. Um, so, um, she, she really enjoyed that. Um, and then having guys like Pekakis, you know, really pushing, um, the students to, 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 to wrestle, um, pushing them, my little girl, um, pushing them to get in the room. Um, and, and so we're, we're excited. Um, we're excited. I think, um, we have the athletes to compete. Um, that's one of the main things, um, I've, Coming into Jackson Owen, the athleticism just uh, is amazing. Um, never been around some kids that have the athletic ability some of these kids have. And if you take that athletic ability and, and we, can, we can put a little technique with it and things like that, uh, we're, we're going to be we'll – be, we'll be there next year. Awesome. So um, my last little bit is I have a segment on my show where I ask people the hot-button topics of what's going on in wrestling right now. So my first question is, do you think that athletes should go to club in school? Oh, I missed part of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, do you think that athletes should be able to go to club in season? Yes, I do. They can't compete with the club. I think they should be able to get that extra practice outside of their high school um, what they're getting in the room at high school because wrestling is is all about um taking things from everywhere it's not it's not cut and dry so you can go to practice and you're getting some information from your head wrestling coach and then you can go to a club and and you're going to get a different you know a different look at things and and that that's just that's going to grow the sports um that's all you know that's one I think so I think they should be allowed to go to club not compete as a club not double roster mm -hmm. but um be able to get in a room and get some extra work in. I think it's great awesome and the uh my next question was so this year we saw the first thing of five six day do you think that Alabama should be one division or multiple divisions and if it's multiple divisions how do you say we split it up I think it should be multiple divisions. I know that may ruffle some feathers. Um, you know, I wrestled at Fultondale, as you know. Fultondale High School was the smallest school in Jefferson County school system, which is the largest, one of the largest school systems in Alabama. We were the smallest school in Jefferson County school systems with a wrestling program. 
you know, um, you can't you can't expect a, a, um, a student body that's 600, 700 to compete, to be able to draw the athletes and pick and choose from a student body of, of 4,000, 3,000. It's just, there's no, they just get the, you know, it's not that they're getting the better athletes. They just have more to choose from. So I think um, I like the old way we had it when I, when I was in school, one through four A, cause you know, that that's a competitive group right there. And then five A, six A, five A alone, six A alone and seven A. I think that's how you break it out. Cause if you take a small five A school, I don't know what the breakdown student body wise is, but if you take a smallest five A school student body and compare it to the largest six A student body, that's got to be I don't know what the number is, but it's a it's a significant amount. You take a thousand people, you know, and you get to choose if say say fit five hundred of them are boys and they're athletes, you get to choose from five hundred kids. Where a small five A school is not going to be able to choose from those. So that's kind of tell me about the Fulton, old Fulton Dale tournament. Yeah, so um, the old Fulton Dale tournament, um, that was probably one of the best tournaments around in the mid to late 90s. Um, when I was in the ninth grade, you got to think you had McEachern, Georgia there. Um, and they were, they were at the top of their game then. You had schools like Athens High School out, you know, Daryl, Coach Qualls bringing down those guys like Lee Schwan and those guys, um, you know. And then you had Benjamin Russell was at the top, top of their game. And then Vestavia was there. Hoover was there. And these were programs, and you, you look at – just look at those guys in the 90s. I mean, those were the top guys in their, in their division in, in, in wrestling. We, we had those guys at our tournament. I mean, it was – I mean, that was a – very tough tournament um it's hard it was uh it, it was awesome but it wasn't you know if you talk to any anybody else it wasn't you know it could be friday night at midnight we were still wrestling i mean it was a grind uh, that tournament was a grind uh i just you know names that fly off the top of my head you know coach gaddy rod gaddy was knows that tournament uh, Andre Griffith was there, uh, you know, Lee Schwan was there. I mean, there was just the athletes that came through that tournament. The teams that were there were just incredible. That was a great tournament. Definitely. Well, Coach, do you have anything to say to our viewers before we let you go? Um, you know, we need to grow the sport of wrestling. Uh, you know, there, it can be a competitive sport. Um, we, you, you know, people at the top, you know, it, it, sometimes they, they kind of – step on each other's toes but they kind of if they can come together and we can grow the wrestling in the state of alabama everybody come together uh, that'd be great so well coach thank you so much for everything and it's gonna if you ever need anything just let me know uh but thank you so much for doing this coach really appreciate yes it. sir have a good day you too thank you so much to coach Trudeau for that awesome interview and thank you to all you guys for all the support you guys give me keep the feedback coming I really do appreciate it, and uh, stay cool, I've been wrestling.